guess it's that time once again, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by our little sliver of the internet. Today we are looking at a sci-fi thriller from across the pond, and it is called Prototype. Now, Prototype is brought to us by director Jack Peter Mundy and written by Sam Gurney. And we get the story of Roger Marshall, who is an inventor of an android. He wants to start manufacturing androids to be servants for humans. And he created Model Zero. Then there's Model One, which is the one that's currently taking care of his family. A lot of the family members really like one, uh, uh, be it from uh, the uh, son of the group, the older teenage son, and uh, the uh, young daughter of the group really has taken a liking to one who really uh, is taking care of the family and cares for him well as much as an android with no emotions could. Well, when uh, Roger decides to improve on one with two, Two has a little bit more of her, her own agenda, and the programming's a bit different. And uh, this model really doesn't think robots should be serving humans. And we see how Two is brought into this family's home and causes major disruptions, as well as messes with One as well. And we see how all of this comes to deadly conclusion in prototype. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed this film quite a bit, though it was a bit surprising. Uh, most of these family members, at least half of the family members, you are not going to like when you first meet them. You're not supposed to like Roger Marshall, and there is no redeeming quality to this character whatsoever. He is an ass, pardon my French, through and through, but he's supposed to be, and he's played very well by Jamie Robertson. He's playing it like he's written how he's supposed to. You're not supposed to really... You can tell this guy's motivation is more about making his mark as well as, you know, he's a highly intelligent guy, but he's also got a trigger temper as and, and a huge ego. And we can just see how that causes problems, not only in his work with his androids, but also in his relationship with his wife, Shelly, who is played wonderfully by uh, Daniela Scott. Man, you really feel for her character quite a bit and the situation she is in in. While she does like one, she really is suspicious of two and with good reason. And two doesn't really look like she likes Shelly either. And so it's an interesting dynamic with them as well. Uh, the relationship she has with Roger is a dark one. There is, yeah, some things involved. This goes to some dark places and uh, not just with the androids. You've got the teenage son in here as well, who is also uh, seems similar to his father. But then as the movie goes along and you learn more about this family, you can understand kind of how he is like that. Not excusing his behavior, but you can understand where uh, he may get his behavior from. Now, one is played by Luke Robinson and I loved his character, reminded me of uh, Robin Williams from Bicentennial Man uh, quite a bit. You know, this this robot, this android who's just trying to take care of the family and understand and be uh, the best android he possibly could for them. And then two, played by Zoe Purdy, was fantastic. It's just like uh, Hal. She, she was a bit like Hal in that respect. Got her own agenda. What are you doing, Dave? Type of thing. But she's more scheming as well. I I I really felt creeped out uh, by this robot. And they really establish it as something uh, that is not exactly kind to humans in, in uh, very brutal ways. So, yeah, really played well the way you wanted that character to be played. And, yeah, the theme running throughout is our dependence on technology and how it can turn against us and be our own worst enemies and that is through and through here and I think they established that well it is a slow burn folks there isn't a huge amount of action and is more character driven but I don't mind that at all if you pay attention of what's going on you do get that creepy atmosphere and there is a little bit of bloody uh, kills in here as uh, you, you just they're just spaced out quite a bit it's more telling of the characters in this story, which I think they accomplish there. So, prototype, a uh, slow burn sci-fi uh, android rebelling thriller, and if you're looking for that sort of thing, it comes out April 5th on VOD, so check it out there. Please check out our Patreon as well, as well as subscribe, thumbs up, and bells and whistles and all that here on the YouTube. I thank you for your support, and remember, as always, keep that ticket stub.